Hey guys, it's Jeff Farina with PocketNow.com, and today we're going to root the HTC Evo 4G using this tool right here, which is called Unrevoked, and you can use that tool by going to unrevoked.com. So today's going to be an experiment on rooting the HTC Evo and seeing if this tool actually works the way it promises. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, and we are back. And as you can see, we are here on unrevoked.com. And they have these five main phones on their home screen, all of which use HTC Sense. So because we're going to be using the HTC Evo 4G, we're going to go ahead and click on this icon here. And now it gives us the option to download the actual root and reflash. As you can see here, it's painless. So if you want to root your device, but you're not too comfortable with doing all the modifying, this seems to be a good tool for you. So I'm going to click here. Now we're using a Mac to do this. However, you can use, as you see, the Mac as well as Linux and Windows. So it supports the three major platforms. So we're going to go ahead here and download the Mac version. All right, and we now have the unrevoked tool open on our screen. And as you can see here, it's telling us that it's a painless root and reflash. And it's telling us to basically, when the bootloader restarts, to press the volume down button to the H boot USB option and then press power. And it's going to use the recovery image of Clockwork Mod. So as you can see, we've now plugged in our HTC Evo here. And hopefully you can see this. And we're going to select the option for HTC Sync which is basically going to mount this as a USB device. As you can see, we are now connecting. What this is now going to do is actually automatically connect to Revoked. All right, and what's happened, the image flashed very quickly. It was tough to see it, but it actually gave us an image here saying that it was pushing the reflasher. So now we've automatically opened up to the boot screen. Now we want to go down to the H boot USB option. So to do that, we're going to use the volume down button, as you can see right there. And now we're going to press the power button to actually select it. Now we've actually gone ahead and selected that option. And it will take a little bit for it to actually click in. And now you can see waiting for HBoot to be ready, running pre-boot sequence all on an unrevoke. So again, this is very similar to jailbreaking your iPhone with a spirit tool or a quick pwn tool. As you can see here, it's rebooting the HTC Evo while it's also telling us waiting for a reboot. All right, and now we're getting the message that it's rebooting into recovery on the unrevoked tool. As you can see, we're just getting the blank screen here, so that is normal. Waiting for a device, so now it's going to initialize the device again on the recovery image this time. And I'm trying to show you both at once just so you can kind of see how they're working in unison here. I know it's a little tough to see, but now it's saying waiting for the device. And there is the recovery itself actually showing up. And now it's saying done. So now we are good to go. We are fully rooted. I have these super user privileges here, as you can see, in terms of applying these updates, wiping, installing zips from the SD card, Nandroid, partitioning, et cetera, et cetera. All right, and just to confirm that we do in fact have super user permissions here, as you can see going into the menu, we have super user permissions, which will allow you to enable access to certain programs that require root from the market and other applications itself. So once again, this has been the unrevoked way to root your HTC Evo. Give us a thumbs up for risking our phone here. And also give us a thumbs up if you just like this video. Please leave a comment, and of course, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, everyone.